Hello to everyone guys and welcome to another marine engineering video. Today we will see quickly how to start and what to check in a lifeboat. But the things that we will check here today, it's not the only one, okay? There is a lot of checks that need to make there because this is the most important equipment that we have for light saving. First of all, I like to thank you that you are here and you are tuned to adventure story channel you have already subscribed and your thumbs is always up with nice comments i will try guys uh, sorry sometime also if i don't answer i have uh, limited time okay for answering these uh, questions but i will make my best thank you again and today we will discuss about how to start the engine, what checks it's important to do, what to be careful, what to look, okay? So you will not be in doubt, okay? Thank you again, let's go. First of all here, okay, when we, before we enter inside the lifeboat, uh, there is a switch, okay? And this switch is for the battery charging, okay? If you will go to start these pumps, very important is to switch off, okay, and disconnect the cable. Okay, and also when you will lower the, the lifeboat, okay, the batteries should be disconnected by some designated person and power switch off, okay. Let's go. As you can he see here, okay, this is our engine, okay. And shortly i will look inside the water okay this is the cooling liquid inside most of the ships and we will stand a little bit here have a mixture of glycol and water okay so, so there is antifreeze liquid you can pour also antifreeze liquid but always what manufacturer says here we have oil in this point okay we check the oil level which is very very important okay we check the cooling level the oil level this is the most important things that we need to check as i said there is a lot of checks okay and you must be very very careful below the engine also we will not see here, okay, but I will show you in a little bit back, sorry about put you back, okay, here down below on this section, okay, there is located a small fuel filter, okay, because uh, this filter is very small, you must exactly know where it's placed and why it's so important, because we have discussed with chief engineer also, happens that this filter goes dirty and after that the pump the fuel pump and the injectors goes to damage okay and this very 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 important also here you can have a visual very good visual of the piping of the connections you can see you can trace any leakages you can check also the belts here and also, as you can see here, we have in this lifeboat a manual starting equipment, okay? This is for the reason if your batteries go off and in this kind of lifeboats, uh, which is Chinese, Chinese made, okay? Uh, it's good lifeboats, but always, as you know, you need to do maintenance, okay? And the main problem here in this a spring starter is that the springs power losing through the time okay it's not necessary every saturday every week to start by this manual okay but just have in in your mind that in 15 days or 20 days you need to make a start to see that this equipment is properly working because what is happening inside uh, with the flywheel and the starting mechanism this starting spring there is a strong heat 
on the components okay and as this all energy releases uh, all the components is heated and damage for sure will be occurred through the time which have also be observed let's go okay here already we checked our oil we check our cooling and what I make before any attempt to start the engine before start the engine I go down here on the outside side of the boat okay and I turn the propeller by hand okay nobody is inside to see if propeller it's free turning okay and the shaft it's not locked not blocked before starting the engine okay let's go now we will start by the batteries here is the switch of the batteries and as you can see there is another switch here below uh, there is a new arrangement from a new requirements that says it's very important to have two sets of batteries okay not only one for reserve for emergency use also if one set will go off you will have another one so there is requirements to upgrade the lifeboats which was already upgraded by our electrician and as you can see I turn the switch for the batteries one lamp switch here on and this is the starter okay as you can see we will start immediately okay the engine starts you don't need to keep the starter long okay keep for a while the rpm and also keep low rpm in cold areas lead your engine heat also here as you can see there is connect a pump okay which suction from one side from this side sea water and supplies here this is the discharge so in case of fire you can supply water sea water around the lifeboat to protect from the heat of a fire okay just to make a protective layer to not melt the lifeboat so here the engine is working okay it's heated up slowly and we will stand a little bit here okay uh, here we have also a starting mechanism which is for the cold areas okay as you can see there is a lid here you can open that and spray a starting uh, liquid with this pump you pressure inside and this liquid will draw and will deliver inside the engine but very important is but sometimes this one it's not help and a good way is to inject direct here in this place okay which is the air suction to inject there and this more efficient also i need to stand a little bit here this is a greasing device for the shaft okay and what i have observed that the grease that is inside okay it's very very viscous so use a more or less viscous grease okay so it will be traveled there and not stuck up in this piping it's very important to see if the grease coming from the ceiling here if not that means the grease is not proper check below the engine for any leakages for any water remove any moisture from there it's very important to save your equipment for longer time okay you can listen also your engine how it workings it must be stable no any additional vibrations and now we will need to check our reversing mechanism okay i will make forward a forward movement okay it's visible and one reverse aft okay and back again so if you will in case that you need to use your pump okay and we will see here in this image what you need to do is to press this button inside okay here 
okay and the engine clutch and the engine is disconnected okay so the engine will be connected only to the pump okay which is always connected to the pump and the pump when you will give reverse or forward the pump rpm which is connected with the engine will be increased okay gradually so more for flow of the seawater will be spray around from the nozzles so now we test also reversed we test forward and we can switch off our engine for this switch close the batteries okay that is a very very quick inspection if our engine is working and very important is before any inspection before any port okay any conditions you go and you check your lifeboats to see in what condition they are if the condition change if the cold weather you also need to check it's very very important because maybe yesterday li the lifeboat starts tomorrow maybe not it depends always from the conditions because machineries it's connected with the outside conditions of the seawater okay and the environment conditions also and here also i will check the fuel tank okay i will look inside to see what is going on the, the level so as you can see it's closed very very tight there is a bronze plug and i will use this x here is the tools also what i like to say for the tools okay that I, I have found a rusty box okay which was missing tools from inside some good guy take all the tools from there and i find the tools really in the gymnasium <laughs> just imagine okay and i was wondering one day we was there for make some gym exercise and i say what 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 is going on here who take the tools and that tools was really really it's unique and you can understand that it's from lifeboat okay and we bring back them we check from the manual which tools must be and we replace back them all okay replace screwdrivers a lot of spanners that what missing from there okay and that i observed was missing also starting a uh, spray also and we fix as you can see the box is new it's painted we found one small box okay with the axe here now with the x okay we can turn this plug so we can observe inside to see the condition of the tank okay you cannot see a lot but every six months in our company we have this program to check these tanks for any deposits inside because as we have observed that this kind of lifeboats and with diesel that remains for a long time for a long time uh, make some dirty on the bottom okay which is better to clean Okay, as I said, there is a lot of checks, a lot of things that need to check. Also, officers from the deck, they check also the bottles, the air bottles, the filling. Okay, place back the axe. And everything must be checked, so be in shape, in good condition. So guys, thank you for watching. This was a small checking of Liveboat. There is a lot of checkings, as we said. Thank you for watching stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and your thumbs up stay tuned bye bye